fern here. Now, if you're new to my happiness series, these are films about things that make me feel good and happy and inspire me and hopefully do for you as well. So today for my happiness project, this is going to be so fun. Uh, as a hobby, as something I find very cathartic, I love to paint and it gets even better because today I'm painting with my best mate, Gok Wan. Well, this is going to be lovely. We're going to paint, we're going to chat and then one person is going to win my picture of you. So fingers crossed it's good. Did you say win? Yeah, it's a competition. <laughs> People need to stay <laughs> tuned win. and they can find out how they can win that picture. I'm going to take a picture of you as well so I can have a Polaroid to work from. There's obviously an element of us having to rush slightly. Yeah, I'm not very good at drawing from sight. No, I'm so not. So I've actually sketched your outline just there and at the moment you're looking a bit like an old maid. So this is not like just pure fun. This is also an element of edge to it. There is a yeah, massive edge. There's a big edge common threads of our friendship is that we both love that creative process. How important do you think that is for your own personal happiness to have that constant creation, whether it's painting, doing a TV show? The thing is, is I'm not very good at many things. That's the problem. And the I beg to differ on that one, by the way. I, I'm genuinely, I was, I was terrible at school. Doing anything which is, has a subjective output, I, I'm quite good at that kind of thing. So actually doing this right now, painting, for me is very important in my life because if I didn't have this, I wouldn't have anything that would make me feel confident. Does that yeah. make any sense? So it's a big part of your identity as well. Huge part. My paintings are a bit of a conversation, really. Yeah, okay. And it's really arty, isn't it? So what does inspire you to paint? What inspires you to hit that, that people. easel, really? I love people. So yeah. this, for me, is a great project. Gok, when did you... When did you realise you had a 17 and a half inch penis? Is that what you were going to say there? I'm really excited about that question. <laughs> when did you first start painting and, and what did you used to like to paint? I remember my sister drawing a picture of... Do you know, remember the sad clown in the 80s? It was everywhere. Oh, I hated that Bed. sad clown. I had a picture of that on my board, it used to freak me the hell out. And so my sister sat and she drew that, and I remember looking at it, it was a pencil drawing, thinking, my God, that's incredible, I yeah. love that. And I just remember thinking, do you know what, I want to know how to do that, because yeah. it looked like such a skill. And then I was at university, and I couldn't afford to pay my rent, I was absolutely skint. And at the back of my garden in Kilburn, there was a, a train track, and someone had dumped a load of chicken wire. And I turned this chicken wire into lampshades, and uh, vases and I sold all the stuff and I sold it yeah. and made money out of it so I could pay my rent. So you've always had that gene. Do you think it's something that you can learn to do or it just is inherently within? I think, I think everyone can paint and everyone can draw to some degree. You know, art is entirely subjective. Yeah. So what I do necessarily isn't going to be to everyone's taste. But as long as I like it and as long as I who understand cares? what I'm doing, who cares? And I think that's probably where, you know, the happiness comes from. We're using that part of our brain which allows us just to purely be ourselves. How are you getting on? Don't look. I, think I, need, to, I need to have a little no, look. No, no, no. That's absolutely not allowed. You're I need not... to have a little look. No, no, no. I'm finished, though. Somewhat. What do you mean you're finished? I'm finished. Are you joking? No, I'm finished. It doesn't take me very long. Is he finished? I'm not finished, I'm oh joking. For God's sake, I've barely started. <laughs> oh my God, that was a horrific moment of, you see, I'm going to be sat this is, here. This is the so moment awkwardly. where art becomes less subjective. So what are your secret rules when it comes to happiness? My, I'm oh, sorry. I know you're hating every moment of my mess right now. I can't you're... actually bear it. I know I you can't. Look I know. Over. You're not making me feel very happy. I know, now, I know so I'm not. My happiness level has just literally gone down <laughs> the toilet. I don't know, My rules for happiness, I guess, are, well, it always boils down to just keeping everything super simple. And I think a lot of the, the things that you can do that are simple, that make you happy, are the cheapest, easiest, simplest things, like, Painting, walking, eating nice food, being with your friends and family, laughing. Yeah, and I think that there's a massive pressure on all of us to be happy. I think the word happy yes. is a really, really it's tricky word. It's a terrifying word. word. Well, I, well, I think it's quite a dangerous word. It because is. all of a sudden, it's like turning around and saying, right, now you've got to be confident, or now you've got to be sexy, or now, you know, all those things, you know, 
you know, happiness comes with a huge amount of demands. I'm, I'm now 27 years old. <laughs> sorry. sorry. I'm now in opposite land. You know, I've been so confused about what I think happiness is yeah. because part of me thinks to myself, you know what, actually, some of the stuff in life doesn't make me happy all the time. Like, I like to work and I constantly get told off by everybody, including you, yeah, in my me all life, the time. that I work too much. But actually, work makes me really happy. It brings you really joy. Happy. Is your mum and dad good at art? No. Really? Actually, my mum my mum can draw. She used to draw horses when, when, she, when she was younger. Where do you think you um, get it from? When I was growing up, I always wanted to be liked. And I figured when I was younger, when I was probably at the height of my low self-esteem, I wanted to, to find a way of getting people to like me. And there was two tools, and one was being creative and the other one was making people laugh. Yeah. And I knew that if I always had those tools in place, whenever times got really tough or really difficult, then I would be okay. You're not listening to a word I'm saying. You yes, really I am. got into this. You're not listening to a word I I'm saying. I am listening to what you're saying. I'm sat here in my own kitchen waffling on to you, giving you all my heart, every word. and you are just being massively competitive about this, of and, you, I am. And, and I can't even bear it. I can't even bear being it. competitive about it. I can't even bear it. And you know me, who do you think stool? I am? I'm not going to get any stuff on your golden stool. Push it out. <laughs> so I put a little bit of tissue there to protect it, because I know what you like. <laughs> you silly knob. Bloody hell. Did you just call me a knob? Yes, I did. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to get nasty. There's no, there's no doubt about that. But I mean, I thought the whole idea of this project was to do stuff that makes you happy, happy, not do stuff that turns no. you into Stalin. But the thing is, I'll only be happy if my painting is good. Is that good, what this so... new series is called <laughs> that you're doing? Hi, this is Van Cotton. Do stuff that turns you into Stalin. <laughs> How's my painting getting on? No, no, no! Why can't I look? No! Can you not scare my dog? Don't look. Sit down. Oh, you're not allowed to look. look. No, no, no. How dare you? Sit down. What do you think? It's not. It's, it's my kitchen. Don't ruin. And these are my rules. Don't ruin and this Christmas. This is not making me happy. Shut this up. This is supposed to make me happy. Well, at the end, you're spoiling. You're ruining. You're diluting the happiness. This for you is a massive treat, isn't it? Be honest. This is like literally sitting down and eating this giant box of chocolates very slowly, in the order that I want, and I'm <laughs> loving it. I think I find my life extremely chaotic normally. Well, it is. So when I'm doing this, it's just like, ah, you can't really imagine not being creative because it's such a huge part but the minute, of what but you when do. When you asked that question, the first thing that came to my head was, what if it was taken away? Yeah, what if you couldn't do it? And I don't, I, I can't, can't even. Go there. That for me is unspoken territory. I get that, I get that. You know, it's, it's bizarre. But then for some people, maths might be their creativity yeah, exactly. or gardening or, do you know what I mean? It comes in so many forms, which yeah. is the beauty of it. It's not one thing. Are you happy with what you're doing? I don't know at this stage. It's so hard. I have to, I do it all rough first and then I'll go over and fine tune it all. Are you happy though, Fern? Yeah, I'm happy. The process for me is this and like baking, Psychoanalyst over there. I make a lot of rubbish, don't I? I mean, this is no good for the environment, my painting. Also, for a neat freak, it's good. Maybe you don't, you're not seeing what I'm doing, though. No. It is very satisfying. I can't wait. Yeah, peeling things off is always satisfying, isn't it? My control underwear, normally. You're taking this far more serious than I thought you were going to. I haven't painted uh, in three years. This has been the most uninteresting conversation I've ever had in my entire life. Cheers. I can tell you're going in for heavy detail because you're driving like, like a, a woman who is 95 would be driving, which is you're very close to the wheel, just here. I can't the not do it. I can't not do that. Usually close. And look, you're not even, not even giving me any icon. I mean, I could say anything right now. Oh, look at this. I just found a million pounds. Nothing. Oh, oh look. Oh, my God. I've got a wound. <laughs> Nothing. Not surprising. Nothing. <laughs> oh look, my womb's attached to my earlobe. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. When you're painting someone, you're like, wow, look, look at this shape here and this, you know, little moment here. And you don't do that when you you're don't talking ever to realize, someone. Do no. You, you realise actually when you're painting someone how extraordinary yeah. people's faces are. So is it very much about how you perceive 
me in this picture. Yeah, so this is all you. Well, this is going to be really interesting then, especially if you turn it around and it's a sort of a picture all in black with a devil over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Which it could very well be. <laughs> yeah. I love this fern, actually. I can't wait to see it. It's actually way more nerve-wracking painting with the person there because if they hate it, you're like, shit! I don't think I've ever done a painting in one day before. I don't think you should rush this, though. I'm not rushing, but I'm just saying, like, normally this would take me a month All right, to do I'm just what I've done to today. Help. I'm just going to have a little tidy up because I'm respectful of my Don't own. come around this side. Not allowed. It's so bossy. Have you finished? <sighs> no. Not good. I'm just about to put some detail in. So, how we met was actually genius. We were at the was it the Clothes Show Live? Is that what it was called? And I was on hosting duties, and I think you were sort of swanning in to do a bit of your here I am being a fashion expert as I sort of literally sat there all day. Swanning in? Yeah, that's, that, you were there in and out. I was there all day slogging my guts away. Within two minutes of meeting Gok, he had told me so many disgusting stories that made me so shocked that I was instantly in love and I went, oh my God, <laughs> I know that me and him are going to be friends forever. I think human connection is one of the most important things. Stop doing that face. It's having those relationships and like finding those people. Can you stop yawning? Otherwise this friendship Jesus. could be very easily terminated. And I can very happily go and make friends with Alan Carr <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got him on speed dial. I don't know whether you can break that injunction that you've got on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're you, a penis, you, aren't you? No, did you just call me a penis? Yeah. I love being called a penis. I know you do. That's why we're friends. Exactly. Oh, I hope this turns out good. Are you, are you genuinely worried? I never know at this stage. This is sort of quite a vital bit where it's I'm getting a bit more detail in there now. You want to have a look? No, I don't want to have a look. This, you're ruining the, the best bit. It's going to be the end when we show each other our bits. Right, I'm going to try and do the glasses in a minute. Shit. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah I'm, I've just had a, my first bit of pressure. I'm at that point too. It's weird, isn't it? Because almost when you finish the painting, I certainly get a lot of my joy from the relief that it's done. Yeah. I've never painted glasses in my life. They're difficult glasses, are Yeah, they are. Why is yellow so important to me whilst I'm painting you? Because I've gone to so many different colours. and because my on... face is full of sunshine? No. Um, I don't know. Anemic. Anemic uh, is uh, probably the fact that I'm eat very something. iron deficient. Eat something. <laughs> but like whilst I'm painting you, I've gone to so many different colours. Is that again a very instinctive thing to you? Do you plan it or do you just go with no, it? No, no, I had no idea at all until I've been talking to you. And I'm, you're in there now, and now I'm taking you out again, which is what I, which is my style, really. What does that but mean and how are you doing it? I don't I don't want you to be identifiable. Right because otherwise I'd, it'd just be a portrait. So one of the hardest things now is taking you out of this painting. Oh, no. It's weird. You should try turning it upside down and working on it. Are you it's joking? bizarre. It does a completely different job. I'd be so confused. <laughs> I wouldn't know what was going on if I did that. What I want to capture in this is what I associate you with always, whatever you're Dim doing. Dim sum. Dim sum. Is that naughty twinkle in your eye? I have n I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Oh, I'm about to do something I'm going to regret. How long we got? Oh, no, I need more than five minutes. I really can't do it in five minutes. I'm about to do something really bad. Right, let's look at the hair. Really bad. Really bad. Oh, you're, so I'm rushing now. Stop it, stop it, stop it, love it. Oh, I'm rushing too. Don't, don't ruin it. You could just work your ass off on there. No. 
Right, I'm done. No, shut up. I need two more minutes, two minutes, two minutes. I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. I'm so excited to see yours. I'm going to sign mine now. Turn up front. Pressure is on. Do you feel so relieved? Yeah, it's gone in a slightly bizarre way. It's gone quite graffiti esque, and I quite like it for that reason. Ooh, amazing. Here we go. Is this going to work? Oh, there we go. That's nicer. It's amazing when that tape comes off, isn't it? It's just incredible what it does. You should try using tapes. I know. It's, um... I never do anything as exciting as that. Don't I'm not look! I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Just unbelievable. Right, okay, I'm just going to sign it, I think. I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to shine it. Got a pen. I'll shine it in paint. It's the first painting I've done since I got married, so usually I put F cotton, but I'm just going to write firm. So now I would. It scares me doing this bit because it's like I'm not allowed to touch it after I've signed it. It's my rule. Okay, I think I'm done. Are you happy with that? I think so. <sighs> my arm is aching like you would not believe. Well, that was a nice chat. <sighs> you enjoyed that? I really enjoyed that. Can we do this more often? I really like my picture of you. You've got the most gorgeous face to paint ever. I'm not even just Aww. saying that. But I really enjoyed just looking at your face for that long. Thanks. All these interesting shapes that I hadn't looked at before. In a gorgeous way. Nose like a dump thing. I love your nose. Okay, shall I see yours first then? I'm desperate to what, see What, are you going to come around here? I think you're just going to turn it to me so I can see okay. it. All right, so let me talk you through. Okay. So, what I wanted to do was create something where you felt as if all of what you said to me came to the front mm. and you actually sank to the back instead of you usually in your life having to be at the front and everything yeah. else behind you. I love that. So mine's kind of the reverse of that. So you're in there somewhere, but you'll probably have to find yourself. Okay. I still am in life, so that's great. I love that picture so much. The colours are so beautiful. Yeah, and you see how the yellow is so important, as I said earlier on. I can bizarre, see myself, I can it? see my face, it just came out, I yeah. saw it. There I am. Oh, I see, love it. Oh, God, I'm really touched go. by that. It's so beautiful. Nice. So beautiful. Can I see mine now? Yeah. <laughs> so this is you with that twinkle in your eye that I know and love. And it's you being a little bit, trying to look a bit innocent, but we know there's a, that naughty side <laughs> to me. And yeah. you look very handsome in this picture. Here is Mr. Gokwan. Oh my god. <laughs> it's brilliant. Do you like it? I really like it. It's really nerve wracking doing that. It's, do you know what's really odd? I hate pictures of myself, as you know. Mm. I don't watch myself on TV and I don't like pictures of myself. And that's one of the first pictures that I've looked at and gone, I get it. I yeah. understand it. That's it's my bizarre. view of you. It looks like the person that's in my head. Mm. It's really accurate. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Which, is, which isn't. And you've got the shape of the glasses, perfect. Yeah, I've exaggerated the eyes and the glasses slightly because I love that to be, I wanted the rest of it to be quite soft and then for the glasses and your eyes to be like the real main Fair, focus I love it. it. It's so How did you get so good at this and you haven't painted for years? I think a break is a good thing sometimes. I'm literally going to burn this. <laughs> I'm literally gonna burn it. I can't bear it. Oh, I'm well, so jealous. I love that we just had that gorgeous moment. That was really special to paint you and for you to paint me. It's giving me a nice little <laughs> top up, a fern cotton top up. Oh, it was oh. really lovely. Thank you so much. I do genuinely feel very, very happy indeed. After. <laughs> Yay. I love you, baby. Well, I massively enjoyed that and I hope that you did as well. If you haven't already subscribed, do, because then you get to watch loads of other films from me all about happiness. And do leave a comment because I also love hearing from you guys. Now, if you would like to win this portrait here of my dear friend Gok, you can enter the competition via Pretty Up The Front's Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. All the details are in the description box. Good luck.